There we go. Oh, my spoon. That name. Indeed. I wonder if that's going to work. <laughs> uh, horrible. Yeah, one dark. Hello. Title confuses and frightens me. Don't worry, it's it, it's exactly what it's supposed to do. <laughs> this is just the 18th street. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm seeing if this gets more um views. <laughs> I'm just sharing it around. <laughs> Beer. Yeah, don't worry about it. Worry too much about it. One thing I'm thinking about is, above all things, City Kong Race. So that's what I'm going to listen to once I finish. Thank you, Walf. Opera. Think Waluigi the proper bot Waluigi, which as they call it. whatever. Oh my god, this the title is working. I'm getting more viewers at the beginning than I ever had before. <laughs> oh man, oh. witness this man eat an entire clove of elephant garlic in one chop. What's up, Des? Cinnamon bun. All right, I'm gonna play some. I'm gonna play the D Kong Racing soundtrack because I think David Watt probably his most underrated. It's also, one of his latest ones. Latest in relative. Oh. Right, is that still there? It's the link to my stream. Oh, my endo!
Kill Tom. They need to... I don't think we need a new Diddy Kong race. I just think they need to merge Diddy Kong Racing and Mario Kart. Hey, Night Sky. They need to make a Mario Kart that has the plane and hovercraft like in Diddy Kong Racing. Also, uh, the items that aren't just random. That, that's the coolest part about Diddy Kong Racing is you know what power, where the power-ups are. It's arranged by by balloon. Bring back Banjo. Where's the barely legal art? Uh, well, in this, I could show you. Uh... <laughs> it's working. <laughs> the fucking title is working. <laughs> the little bit of a bait, but I did draw Mona, Goth Mona, and Goth Captain Sir. But they 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 seem a little older. They're uh. Captain Syrup's got to be at least 22. I think, yeah. Don't y'all think Captain Syrup's at least 22? Looks like she'd be older. I did draw them. Wario is assuming the same age as Mario, though so apparently 25. Mario is supposed to be 25. Um, what about Mona? Okay, what's weird is Mona in the earlier game, she was in high school, right? That would imply probably 16, maybe. If she was on, she was the lead cheerleader, so that means she's at least 17, 16 or 17, right? And she worked, she was the, ma is she the manager of Mona Pizza? Or is she like the, the, just the inspiration? Is it like a pizza shop owned by her dad and named it after her? Because that's happened, like in real life. No, I, I didn't restrict this. The, 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 the title is just a joke. This is the 18th stream, so I decided to name it. I, I name all of them ever since number 12. I've been naming them like a pun or something. What's funny is if you play Skullgirls, and you get an 18 hit combo, it calls it a barely legal combo. Yeah, it is a little creepy, but I think it's implied that Mona's now in the newer WarioWare game, she's an adult. Because she was a professional photographer in uh, Game and Wario, as well as a. She was, you know, going. Well, she was just going clothes shopping, but her body type looks more like she's an adult. I think now canon age is probably in her 20s, early 20s. Wait, I will wait for the barely legal Wario. All right, fair enough. Oh, would, would Wario, how do you guys think Wario looked as a young adult? In his mid-20s, I'm guessing. Oh, God, my stomach. Oh, I should not have eaten the rotten garlic. Children. I mean, I've seen, I've seen freaking, like, back in high school, there were people, like, sophomore year that had a pretty big mustache already. Attention, Earthbound Gamers. Gigagas is is trying to destroy Onet, and Ness needs your help. Get your parents' credit card. <laughs> now, what do you guys... What do you guys think, if for those of you who've played Diddy Kong Racing, you think Raj the Genie would be would be able to fly today? Probably not, right? I mean, they already changed his voice in the DS remake. I like 
victim, but that's only because I was a kid. I didn't, I didn't know. Like he wasn't he was a friendly he he helped you, the badass magician, but I don't know if that's enough. When he, he had a he had a stereotypical, I believe, Indian accent. So like, you know, people are people got mad at a poo in the Simpsons, so I wouldn't be surprised if people got mad at Raj and Or Taj, Taj, not Raj. Fourteen God damn it. I can't believe that I, I did share it a little more. I shared it on the my Mega Man Maker Discord. Uh, I don't think the Ridley Discord has a creative page, so I, I wasn't able to share it there. Maybe it does. Maybe I'm just dumb. Oh man, that sucks for us. It's your birthday. Yeah, they got replaced by, by um, Dixie and Tiny in a really weird redesign of Tiny. I don't know why they made Tiny look like a teenager. They made Tiny Kong look older than Dixie Kong, which is completely wrong. Dixie Kong's the older sister. And they changed all the voices. Tip Top sounds awful. He's supposed to sound like Kermit. But hey, it's Tip Top! <laughs> Great, I love Tip Top. Like, one of my all time favorite video game characters. Tiny is no longer tiny. It kind of did. I mean, it's fine. Like I, I can I can give the Donkey Kong characters a pass because when it comes to their female representation, they're actually good. Like they've they've made sure they made Candy Kong and Tiny Kong, but they also made Wrinkly Kong and Dixie Kong and Kazooie. You know, so I give them a pass. They want their it is a weird design. And also, it probably was a different team member, you know, or a different different team. A weird it was a weird edition i don't know it's just very weird i mean i like the design i just wish her proportions were pro proper like the clothes i mean like the clothes make sense almost like 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 tween design i guess i, I guess it's to imply that she got a little older since 64 but it, her proportions just look a little too huge. As opposed to Dixie Kong and Diddy, who are in the same game, that are still shaped like monkeys. I hope Wrinkly and some... Wrinkly, well, Wrinkly is uh, still a ghost. Oh, um, I hope they bring back the ghost. So far, the Kong family that has appeared in... Even the Return series are Donkey, Diddy, Dixie, and Cranky. Monkey. That's it. No wrinkly yet. No candy. No wanky. Uh, am I missing any? So wanky. He's like, hey, step right up. Step right up. Step right up and enjoy this uh, uh, thing. You won't believe your eyes. The man, it's the man or ape that can eat endless amounts of bananas. You have Donkey Kong going, Spikey, what are you doing? Get out of my house. 
Oh, Lanky. Yeah, I forgot Lanky. How the hell did I forget Lanky? And Chunky. Oh boy, Chunky. Chunky was my favorite. He had green. The program is Flash. Old school. This song sounds like celebration. Celebrate good times. Celebrate good times. Come on. Good. Gotta make sure these interact. Have a big change. Mario's big and fat, tender. But you just cut in line. Here's a question for chat. What's the scariest? No, I'm just doing it in different layers, nice guy. Um, what's the scariest Simpsons Halloween episode? I definitely have to go with the one where the teachers are cooking up the students. That's freaky. But it is also one of the funniest. Like, that's your third helping, young man. It's made you fat and soft and... There. God, you just cut in line, didn't you? Or to the pr principal's offense. Well, how oh, long? About seven minutes. What did you do? And the next day they're eating. Bart, don't you find it strange that Uter's been dis mysteriously missing and now they're s serving this strange food called Uterbraten? <laughs> I wouldn't worry about that, kids. I'm sure Uter is around here somewhere. <laughs> I mean, isn't there a little Uter in us all? <laughs> in fact, you might even say we just ate Uter and he's in our stomachs right now. <laughs> Ignore that last one. Oh man, back when Simpson, like, old. I mean, apparently it's still good. Maybe, maybe, maybe Simpsons is still good. Maybe, maybe every episode of Simpsons actually is worth something, and we just stop watching it, stop caring. Is that, that's still there. What the hell? Am I going crazy? I think I'm going slightly crazy. Yeah, no, that's still there. Wait, hold on. Yeah, okay. I'm not crazy. What are you doing here? The YouTube link. That's the link. That's the link I used to send. Oh, looks like people found out it's not really 18 plus art. They left. But I got it. like that old meme. Uh, uh, Dave Chappelle just going, "Gotcha, bitch." Sorry, I'm not doing it today. But if you want to keep in touch, you, but if you want to keep up with it, you better gotta follow the street. Ancient Lake. I don't think you can really do 18 plus on you, can you? You can't do, like... Hey, I don't even think Twitch lets you do that. I think 
There's like a separate streaming service you do if you want to do that sort of art, you know what I mean? I don't think you could do I don't think you could do it on YouTube. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, that's the thing. I mean, when I do... When I... I'm talking about when I eventually do the loot stuff. Like, how can I go all the way, or how far can I take it? Well, funnily enough, uh... The original Diddy Kong Racing was going to be a successor to RC Pro-Am. But Miyamoto, of all people, like suggested, he's like, hey, why don't you put characters in it? Worked for Mario Kart, why don't you use Diddy Kong? Some like Reploid Revos Twitch. Are you sure? I mean, Night Sky, I think Twitter allows you to post art because I've certainly seen the art, if you know what I mean. I don't know. Still want Donkey Kong Racing? Oh, <laughs> luck with that one. That doesn't even show enough. But... It was supposed to turn into what? Saber Man Stampede? Is that it? That would have been a cool game. They had something going with Saber Man Stampede, but Microsoft's like, nah, this is. Not interesting, even though it was like super interesting. Oh, okay, I see. Well, that's the thing. Uh, but Twitter is just drawing, you don't stream on Twitter. So, where do they stream it? I think there's a separate, like, there's a different uh, 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 site. Diddy Kong Racing, it's so good. I love this music. Play Gamer Rose Court. I want new Frogger games. Um. Yeah, I would say that. Um. It's just. I feel like Frogger. Like. I saw a Nitro Rad video on the Frogger series. And, like, they ended on a high note, but actually, there's this very little-known Frogger DS game that looks surprisingly good. The thing is, Konami tried to make Frogger, like, a mascot character, 
but they sh but they noticed like when Frogger is just a frog, like a regular non descript frog, it sells better. Pardo, that's what it's called. Okay, I'll get one of those then. That works. How's life been? I mean, as good as it can be, considering the circumstances. This thing's almost done, and that's pretty much all that matters. Right now. Girlfriend. Blue, though. Gotta, got a rough sleep pattern. We have this problem in our apartment, like... The, the, the water pipes are, like, vibrating every night at precisely 11.30. Danny, no, you're not late. No one's ever really late. It's just... Come in when you can. Oh, yeah, you guys... Never ruin a frog. Well, yeah, frog, frog is good. Bad frog. friends do you have frames let's see i'm in 255 the last frame is um 1375 so about a thousand keep in mind it's not like i'm drawing every single frame so honestly no, like let's say let's say 800 Uh, reanimation collab. I would love to do another one. I did the SpongeBob one of uh, Band Geeks. Uh, that's the only one I've done. I wanted to do the Ed and Eddie one, but uh, it was it was being called for while I was still working on this. Like I, I gotta focus. I want this thing done. Used to, used to, but yeah, uh, I guess the stream delay, but yeah, I did one. I did the SpongeBob one. Ice Climbers reboot would be amazing. You know, funnily enough, I feel like it would benefit from VR. Ice Climbers VR. Once this is done, if there's something going on, I would love to... Uh, I saw an Ed and Eddie one. There was a Billy and Mandy one that I would love to do. Because I, I, I love that show. Um, I would love to do an Aqua Teen Hunters. But I don't know if anyone's going to... Uh, my favorite show. I mean, I'll be I'll be frank. There are some people that are in reanimated collabs that there that doesn't look that great. So I don't think skill level matters. You just keep trying, and someone will be like, "Yeah, okay."
Honestly, it's the fact that Wario has those sh flat, the shadows under his eyes make him so easier to animate his face. Oh, here we go. Here's 18 plus Wario. Young Wario. And without the mustache. Oh, yeah. I love this. I were to do an anime collab, it would definitely be Aqua Scene Hunter Force. The thing about Aqua Teen is its humor is, is, is the fact that it's badly animated. So having people reanimate it with, well, most likely better animation would make it funny. And it, it leaves a lot of room for, like, creativity. The baby man. I'm gonna be frank here, Danny. I've, I've, I think Super Mario RPG is overrated. Uh, I tried to play it twice and I got bored with it. So definitely I'll say Thousand Year Door. Like RPG, RPG is overrated. It's not even close to the best RPG on the Super Nintendo. There's Chrono Trigger, there's Earthbound, there's three different Final Fantasy games. There's Secret of Mana. Like. And like, everyone's like, oh, Gino is such a cool character. Gino is just, is just Mega Man if he was made out of wood. With not much personality. He's just, he's just, uh, what's his name? Uh, not Krillin, uh, uh. Piccolo. He's just gr he's just wooden puppet Piccolo Mega Man. That's what he is. He's all he's he's super stern. He's all about the mission. Yeah, he just ate a garlic. Gino is wooden puppet Mega Man Piccolo. Yeah, it laid down the foundation. The foundation which was later improved by Paper Mario and the Mario and Luigi series. I would pick play any of the other Mario RPGs before Super Mario RPG. Now, I will give it credit, it did let you have Bowser as a party member, which is cool, but the combat is just kind of okay. It's just Final Fantasy combat with action commands, and the story is also kind of okay, and improved in later Mario games, Paper Mario games. My friend was saying how, how bad Bubsy is. He said he never actually played it for when he saw is enough to know. Bubsy, which one? Bubsy uh, 3D? Maybe that's the first question. W. I like saying I play it and it's not that bad and he agree with me. And yeah, it's not that bad. It's short. Yeah, new Bubsy. I wonder why everyone loves Geno so much. It's the same reason people like a uh, Gen a starter from Gen 2. You know? They just had it when they were a kid and it was the coolest thing to them. But there have been better starters, especially better than Gen 2. I'm sorry, Gen 2 starters are weak. For alligators, awesome. But Typhlosion looks like a sandbag. And who the hell cares about Meganium? And then the next generation, they perfected starters with freaking Sceptile and Blaziken and Swamper. The, hands down, no question, best starters in the Pokemon franchise. It's better, it's most, it's better not to know than is to actually know. That is the stupidest thing I've ever, that kid is on his way to being a freaking supremacist. <laughs> What's the next thing? You're gonna tell them about like you're gonna tell them about the uh, uh, history of 
I, I, okay, this is I'm, I'm I'm only doing this as like an American, but to, if America and if an American said that, it's like, oh, you tell him about the history of like of like history in general, and he's like, no, it's good that I didn't know that. I, I'd rather not know that. And it's like you are a privileged little brat. <laughs> Hell no, knowledge is literally power. Knowing is half the battle. That that. <laughs> That kid, that kid's like a sociopath, and you tell him that. You tell him that. Yeah, it's better to know. Yeah, I know. You're a sociopath. Hell no. That makes me legit angry, man. <laughs> that is, that's also him being a tool. The only thing I remember from B Bubsy 2 was the peanut butter. I, I haven't played a single Bubsy game. I, I steer cleared of it. But, however, what about Mighty Number no. 9? Oh, don't bring up that game. <laughs> don't bring me up. I want to talk about Mighty Number no. 9. <laughs> I don't want to talk about Mighty Number no. 9. <laughs> Please. Don't make me do it. I don't want to. I don't want to. Bad. Have to be bad. Yeah, yeah, Danny, I'm not gonna be talk. I I don't want to talk about Mighty Number no. Nine. I defended the damn game. I'm ashamed I did. I made a cartoon about how Mighty Number no. Nine could could have potential. If Kedgy, if if Mighty Number no. Nine did the same thing as Ukulele did and make like a superior, simpler game, like later, which I think they did with Mighty Gunvolt, kind of. SpongeBob, uh, but. Like, what? I'm just kind of mad about Mighty Number no. Because they should have realized the problem with the game during development. Don't the jellyfish and SpongeBob make jelly? Yes, they do. A, a Krabby Patty with blue jelly. Blue jelly! But it was hat too big, yeah. Maybe. From who? What? Uh, sorry. When I heard we will get no new games until 2022. Oh, that sounds disappointing. But I mean, at least Smash Brothers DLC. At least that'll be this year. The last one was just kind of boring. I'll take, I'll take Pyra and Mithra over Byleth any day, but still. Not biggest fan. Just waifu bait number 100. And who am I to talk about baiting? <laughs> None of a jaw. Y'all fell for it. Y'all only came here to see 18. Plus art. You didn't come to see the glory of Wario. Our Max SpongeBob. Oh, that that I love that. <laughs> Beautiful. That's dedication.
pretty pissed when uh, when Viacom or whoever tried to take it down. I'm like, you're fucking assholes. Did all that work. Oops, forgot his mustache. He looks like... I don't know. I don't know what I can... I mean, sure, man. Why not? Okay, what? That just means, that just means, uh, male on male, right? I don't know the, the true definition of that. As long as they're adults, I don't care what they do. I mean, shoot, shoot, I drew, I drew some of that once as a joke in one of my personal discords. I, I did it uh, of, of three toads. Just to see if I could do it. I think it came out alright. You're never gonna see it. But. Can you imagine the noises they'd make? Uh, at a million subs, <laughs> a million subscribers, at at a uh, hundred follow Twitch followers. How about that? I'll show it some. It's old though, so it's not like my best or anything. But at a hundred, at a hundred Twitch followers, I will show that art. <laughs> it's drawn good. It's drawn good. I can't even argue. I encourage. Uh, ludes of all um, orientations, if you will. As long as we have a balance. Which is why I'm okay with uh, Bayonetta existing, but kind of skept on pirate. Like, B Bayonetta... Bayonetta's a little uh, off, but I, I really don't like Xenoblade 2. Like, the art, the art style and the story from what I hear. I've never played it, right? But for everything I've heard about it, it, it just makes me cringe a bit. I don't like it. I don't like that you literally capture sentient sword people that you use. But since Twitch, it's the same as this. But I mean, is it the same? It's Mariyoshi64. Like, that should be my name, but I think user YouTube just kind of got rid of screen names. It's weird. But wherever you find me, it's my screen name will always be Mariyoshi64. Uh, Night Sky, I think YouTube flat out got rid of your comment that leads to my Twitch, and with that's kind of garbage. Now, this is Flash, by the way. Um, oh, of course, there's going to be seen more Wario farts kind of this thing. To make sure this flows properly.
gaming. Hold on, Rage Internet. I'm like losing you. I don't know if all of your comments went through. Overwhelmed after harassment. City. Got a plan? A plan for what? Messing with someone? I want more games replays of it. No, that's true. Wait, well, this is my name everywhere. Like, that's my D that's my Twitter, that's my DeviantArt, that's my Tumblr, that's my uh, Twitch, everything. No, a plan of something else. What a fucking deco. Sometimes sometimes someone just needs a actual knock some li literal knock some sense into it. But I mean you can hear it from me. Not clones, they're bro they're they're cousins, I don't know. I don't know if y'all noticed, but I shaved nasty neck beard. I think it's like all my my skin. Oh man, now I've still gotta make another song. And you don't have it. I wouldn't recommend Twitter. I hate Twitter as a website. It's, it's, it's kind of the worst of the popular sites. Like, it's so useless. You could do so little with it. You can't organize your photos. You can't tag, you can't tag your own stuff. It's got a, it's got a limit. Character limit. It's just Twitter is actually the worst site. I don't know why the fuck it's so popular. It is the worst one. Tumblr, you were able to upload multiple GIFs and tag your stuff. Even Facebook had folders. Like, like, jeez. I like the only reason Twitter is so popular is because America is obsessed with fucking celebrities. The only reason celebrities have a Twitter and politics, but Facebook has politics too. So. Are you also thinking about a Pix IV? I haven't heard of that one, but maybe. That, uh, when I start the 18 plus streams, if, if that's the best place to put it, then maybe. But I think DeviantArt is fine with uh, 18 plus. Pretty sure DeviantArt. It's literally called DeviantArt. Yeah, drop him like a bad habit, man. No, it's just someone on, on chat saying how he's got a, a, a friend who's not a good friend, so just drop him. He'll make plenty more. Trust me. Heck, you can make someone you can make someone here in chat. I'm sure someone in this chat will be a better friend than this guy is. He sounds like a hunchback whale. Uh, uh, so um yeah, I think, yeah, Rage, I believe he's talking to you. I've had my share of bad friends. Uh, I had this, I will admit, uh, I was, I wasn't, I wasn't the best person in college, but, so, this was half my fault for being not a good friend, but this person wasn't a good person either. Like, uh... All sorts of drum. So, oh, DeviantArt. Well, it's because DeviantArt's so old. Here, here's a big thing. I was friends, close friends with someone in college that would straight up, like, tell me stuff like, like, literal suicide stuff to me and to, in, in, my, in ways for me to consult them to a point where it seemed like it was just to get my attention. You know what I mean? 
Like, I know people who are in that, have that dark, uh, the real dark cloud over them. Even back then. And this person seemed to be using that just to get to me and to help them with their homework. This was in college. And that was bad. I mean, you're not his mom. Kid's gotta learn stuff on his own. Yeah, oh yeah. Like I was I was not an angel, but at least I didn't threaten in a sense. You know what I mean? Squirrel here. I mean there's assholes all over the web. Oh, there was an asshole on this chat, remember? It was the day I think it was day eight. Where someone just came in and he's like, "Why am I subbed to you?" Oh well, I'm not, I'm I'm unsubbed later. And I'm like, "What a hot gargler!" Like there's there's assholes everywhere. Problem is we don't punish them, honestly. You out. You won't? Well, don't worry about it. This was a long time ago. That person's long away from my life. They probably think I'm a horrible person for, like, uh, dropping them. But I, I honestly don't care. This has gone. They're good artists, too. I won't even lie. Like, they were decent artists. It's just they were so down on themselves and then, like, wouldn't blame themselves. Very manipulative, but it was... Gross. I didn't like it. So, saying all this, oh, it's 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 crazy. Like those, there was there was someone in my college that would use their mental disorder as an excuse to be misogynistic, creepy. That's not good. So, it may it may be harder, but you still gotta drop them. Get them as far away from you as possible. You can do that. One, once or twice, maybe an excuse. Maybe it could be an excuse. But every time, no, that's that's messed up. You know what you're doing. You're not learning. Yeah, oh, exactly. You, no, that sounds ex rage. That sounds exactly like this kid from my college. And no, no nobody wanted to be with him. Even if it was more severe, uh it's still not a good thing. An excuse. And honestly, it look it makes people other people with said you know, disabilities look worse. So it's bad for the community. The people doing that are not thinking about other people. They're only thinking about themselves. I'm, I've never been diagnosed. Uh, people used to ease me all the time. And grade school and high school for having AD, ADD, but I've never been diagnosed. I don't know. Uh, But, uh, that's all. Uh, everyone has their fair share of stuff. Everyone has a bit of baggage of some sort. Excuse me. Oh, got a little bit of heartburn. Curious investment. Honestly, it's good to be the bigger man, but you don't always have to be the bigger man. Like, honestly, you don't always have to be. That's what they don't tell you in media or just people in general. You don't have to always be the bigger person. Sometimes you deserve to be a little selfish. That's something that no one really teaches you. You have to kind of learn to balance, balance it. 
at the end of the day, you're the only one who's going to be having yourself as priority number one. Uh, that brings me back to my, my ex-girlfriend when a few months later there was a convention going on in Chicago. And I was I was just chilling. I was I was having the time of my life. You know I love conventions, especially Chicago. The Chicago one had this awesome game room where just literally every every game you can imagine was there. Usually playing competitive Smash or something. It was just great. Uh, my ex at the time was hovering, like just hanging out in the back, and I saw her at the corner of my eye. I was like, oh my god, what is what does she want? But I just I was just like, no, I don't want to even talk to her. I don't want to. I don't want to. I just don't want to. And then I got a text from a mutual friend. And he's like, come on, man. Be the bigger man. Uh, just just talk to her. She just wants to talk to you. I was like, I, I don't want to. Why do I have to be the bigger man? I don't want to. And I, but I eventually did talk to her, and it accomplished nothing. Absolutely nothing. It was basically like, oh, can't we just be friends still? I'm like, hey, you can change it up. We're off. Why should I have to? I typically remember that. I remember saying, like, almost like a cartoon. I was like, I don't want to be the bigger man. Why do I always have to be the bigger man? Why can she be the bigger man? You got something to say, say it to me. Being a little lazy with this animation, but I really want to get this particular scene over with. be a bigger man. You be the bigger man. It, it it's it depends on the reason y'all broke up. Really. But I have like relationship I've been in two and the one that's right now is is like the best obviously but I don't have much experience. Uh so I can't really uh speak for you. That sounds like a skit from Seinfeld. <laughs> skit from Seinfeld. I don't want to be the bigger man. Oh, she's my ex girlfriend. She's right there. I don't want to talk to her. Jerry, you gotta talk to her. I don't want to be the big You gotta be the bigger man, Jerry. I don't want to be the bigger man. <laughs> You're so right. <laughs> she can be the bigger man. She can't be the bigger man. Well, why not? Because she's the woman, Jerry. <laughs> oh man, that sounds that sounds brilliant. <laughs> well, sexism is even in our just common language. When you when you're disappointed in something, you go, man. You don't say woman. True. I love this song, by the way. Favorites. Honestly, okay. I genuinely think the most evil people in the world are second graders. Like, to this day, I don't think I've met anyone more evil. And people and people that have messed with me in second grade, like second and third grade, is when a person is the most evil. I don't know why, but it just is. It's weird. Like, gotta be the bigger man. Second, second and third. Oh yeah, second and third. High school. I mean, they were assholes, but it's like, I was like, what? Human shield. Se second second graders not even middle school i mean middle school i feel like was more my fault i was kind of like super uh i was like super sensitive in second grade or in in, in not second grade in middle school sixth seventh and eighth i was so sensitive to everything i was bitter and, and afraid of my own shadow in, in middle school 
second grade though i was like positive and just trying to be nice to people and like they are just the worst you want to know how it's the worst because my very earliest memory of having a crush on someone was in second grade and every other crush it would be like oh i'm sorry i'm not interested or like i have a boyfriend you know what you know what this second grade her second grader person said to me, like, when I was in second grade, she called me, she went, uh, why would I want to go with a fat ass like you? She straight up said that. She's, I'm surprised she even knew what that word was. Like, holy crap, you bitter bitch. Like, I didn't even think it back. I was this girl got hit by a car. Like, fuck you. That's so fucked up. No remorse. Like, that's the thing. You ever see in, like, TV shows, like... Like, a kid will be like, a, a kid at that age will be like brutally honest, has no sense of, sense of empathy at all. So that's why I think they're the most evil. Like, genuine. I think that's when they're the most evil. I don't know why we're talking about this, though. Okay, finally done with this scene. Mute the music real quick. Uh, in high school, I kind of grew hair, as they say. Saving again. Uh, I don't know what happened. I went from being like scared and timid of everything in eighth grade to this bitter and just angry person in high school. I've mentioned this before. Yeah, they have no filter. In second grade, second, third, like seven seven eight nine year olds like before 10 they have no sense of empathy they have pure no nothing they're, they're almost soulless they learned how to hurt with words and they will use it to the max like it is awful and i feel like just looking back i'm like has anyone been mean to me to a point any worse than that. I don't think so. I really don't think so. Like, when I when I hear people being mean in, in middle school and high school, I, I chuck it both to me being sensitive and the other person just being stupid rather than, like, actually mean. There's a, there is a difference. You can tell when someone uses a slur that they're both terrible and stupid because they can't think of anything. Only the true, only the true meanest things that can be said to you are ones that are like personal attacks. But if someone says like a slur, like you know, it was the early two thousand, so they threw around the f slur a lot. Um, that's how you know it's like, oh, he's just being, a, he's just being stupid and an asshole. But he's not going like deep. Brains need more developing. Oh, good point, Des. Oh, you blue. Go ahead. Yeah. Honestly, I don't. I don't remember much of grade school. I only have like flashes here and there of memory. That's how this sucker looks so far. This is an important scene. Yeah, I haven't drawn this yet. Perfect. All right. Great. Okay. I just need to draw the picture of him kneeling on the ground from the camera from the ground. Oh, the pillar on the ground, looking at his enemy. Good shit. background I have the colors already I've used a I'll use the same colors for the burp
like, look, okay. In a vacuum, in a vacuum, all com in a vacuum, all comedy is subjective, right? And it's in a vacuum, it's okay to say anything, but like you have to actually think about how people will re will react. I remember your Vinny animation with Aunt Bertrand. Oh yeah, that's that's one of my favorites. A good one. Probably no, I think my better mind sauce one is the Dr. Mario one. I like that one better. Wait, when I was going a bit about the grown man who scolded me. You did make that Vinny Mario Land. Yes, I did. So this isn't even the first time I'm animating Wario. I like Katamari Damacy. I've never played it. Trying to lighten things up. Did Wario make up that story up? Did Wario make that story up? Did he steal Mario's castle? Uh, the way Wario stole Mario's castle, he hired Tatanga to kidnap Daisy so he could sneak into the castle. That's that's actually yeah, basically really the most Japanese game. What about uh, Hong? Uh, what is it? Not Hong Kong ninety. that one. Keshi's Castle? I think it's Keshi's. Am I planning to do more Vine Sauce animation? Um, maybe. Yeah, I, I haven't... Nothing, nothing has, like, really sparked interest. Yeah, he is. I've just got all these... Takeshi's Challenge, there we go. I thought that was the most Japanese game because it's based on a, a, a celebrity. Well, I mean, the best, the best ideas for a Vine Sauce animation is when Vinny does a bit. I I need a good Vinny bit. There's a lot of them, but there's just none that have sparked my interest to be animated. Like, and also ones that someone else hasn't done. Like, nobody did the Watto animation. Nobody did the Aunt Bertrude. Um, but someone already did the Arnold, uh, the Jamie, please. I'm your father, Jamie. Oh, Jamie. Jamie. Power begins to fade. I mean, I mean, I did a Joel animation too, but uh, I used a scene that not a lot of people agree with. Oh well. I 
I just, I it, honestly, when I do an animation, it's gotta, it's gotta really just come to me. I have lots of ideas for animation even after this, but I need to make sure. Hey, Grace. Oh. <laughs> Jamie, please. I'm your father, Jamie. Thank you, Jamie. You've saved your father. Thank you, Jamie. You have saved your father. Wine sauce run by multiple people. I must. Vinny's the main guy. I think he has someone edit his videos for him. There's uh, John Full Sauce. It used to be Southbird, uh, but he got too busy. So I don't know who does it now. Yeah, I did the Kermit the Frog joke in my Joel animation. Yeah, um, there's Ima Cooney. I've never, I haven't watched, much, but she's. Joel, Joel is hilarious. Joel, but I haven't watched Joel as much play games. I prefer it when he, like, messes with. Joel just doesn't play any games that I'm interested in. And even when he did, he played Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, I don't think he got around to finishing it. Then he just plays games I'm actually interested in. Joel doesn't. And again, I don't even watch Vinny's streams like live. I watch him post and you. Sorry, I turned the music off. I realize. Well, what's very odd is Vinny freaking streams at like two in the morning his time. Why? Why do you do that to yourself? When do you go to sleep, Vin? Pikmin 3, Odyssey, or 3D World? I I liked Odyssey, but a lot of people are saying, like, Odyssey isn't even that good. Crap. People liked Bowser's... Okay, if you didn't play... Space Ace, if you didn't have... If you don't own Mario 3D World on the Wii U, then I would recommend just getting that, because it's basically two games. Pikmin, I feel like you'll get later if, if, if there's a price drop. I think Pikmin games uh, occasionally get a sale.
Love three. Love three D World, but lo what do you mean lost? Odyssey. Like you bought a physical copy and lost it? It's horrible. I don't think I've ever lost a video. It's cool, Danny. Peak at 15, I think this is the most average. I guess the 18 plus thing works. Yeah, dang. All of y'all on the quest for the horn? Quest of the horn? Galaxy 2 is my favorite, so. Like, of all. Ugh, oh, Drift Cons. I have those. Got me a third-party GameCube controller that works fine, though. I just wish you were able to switch the damn buttons. Um, here's the thing, uh, it, he, well, um, Nintendo's not very smart. They never were. They, uh, they took this long to make a Pokemon Snap, and they're not even developing it, even though the opportunity was there since fucking ever. It will always be the stupidest thing to me. Like, a sequel to Pokemon Snap should have just been, like, instant. Poor Kamek. Fearing for his life. See, my original idea is I was going to have Bowser show up, like adult Bowser, but eh, I think I like the reference to Yoshi's Island a little more. Plus, it means I won't have to draw a completely new character. Got a lot of things planned for this cartoon that just didn't end up making it. But what I do have is, fan is probably one of my best. Like, I might, this one might even be above my Mega Man one. I've talked to death about that one. Yeah, stress headache, yeah. Girlfriends have been having trouble too. Need to eat something. Some rice. Rice cures everything. Are you. Space Ace. Dude. That, uh, a lot of people would have bought a Wii U for Pokemon Snap. Hell, by now we would have had the obligatory Pokemon Snap Switch. If it was on Wii U. It's like an extra level or something. 
The Wii U was literally like my my friend my own my friend of mine. I don't know why I keep repeating myself. Uh, said how stupidly missed an opportunity it was to use that Wii U tablet to take pictures. Need some water. I'm gonna drink some water on your behalf. Vinny never talks about, like, relationships. They just seem like conversations that come up. Natural conversation. So it's just weird that I don't think we've ever heard anything about him dating or his family. Or maybe once about his family. Uh, but that's that's really weird to me. It makes me worry about it, honestly. Companionship is very important. Yeah. Yeah, um... I like his stuff, um, but it is very clear that it is much easier to work with. Plus, you could, uh, you could even repeat animation. Like, I'm positive the Samus he used in his World of Light is the same Samus he used in... freaking uh... Super Metroid. Same thing with his Drac his Dracula from the Castlevania one he used in World of Light. Like a lot of repeat you can repeat a lot of stuff. Especially if their animation is like do thing. Or the Mario, like the speedrunner Mario. Some people are more sensitive about that stuff. Oh fair enough. Not even, not even like crushes he had like in high school, like so long ago, you know, stuff like that. I love this Pac-Man horror. Oh, that one was great, yeah. Um, my favorite still is uh, Yoshi's Island. Hey, I want to ride the Yosh. Yeah, yeah, that's clever. I I did always want to do a Pac-Man related thing, but I wanted to I want to make like a fake new Pac-Man trailer. I talked about this idea last stream about the best Pac-Man game is called Pac-Man Arrangement, where there's a fifth ghost out of the four, and this fifth ghost is able to power up the other ghosts. Uh, and they've never really done anything with that ever again. Like, having the ghost power up is so cool, because the entire franchise is about Pac-Man getting powered up, but this new twist of just having the ghost power up too, that's just cool. That's interesting, and you can do a lot of stuff with that. But they only scratched the surface in that game. Say that I don't cheat sometimes. Sometimes I cheat. There's only two drawn frames, but it conveys what's going on. Saving again. The Lady Pac-Man from the Mega Drive. Oh, Jesus. 
stretch and get me some more water. Ah, oh, my brain. Oh yeah. Oh. Not cheating if it's not brain. Big brain. No, not Pac-Man 2. The Pac it is funny, the smug walk. stuck in my teeth. Yeah, very charming. It looks like. It looks like a nightmare to play. does. Okay, uh, Space Ace, hot take. I love that Pac-Man design's shoes. His eyes were weird, and it's weird that he had teeth but his shoes were so sick. Those were nice ass shoes. That TV show too. Drip indeed. Best boss song. Cartoon was fine. The writing was all over the place, though. Like sometimes episodes had like pretty clever writing. Sometimes the episodes had garbage writing. Oh, 
Oh me, I'm a man. I like that they use the actual Pac Mania like music. That alone makes it better than like most adaptations of video games that don't even have the damn music. Hell, not even the amazing Castlevania Netflix series has Castlevania music, and that's a crime. For how good that show is, it's so baffling for it to make that mistake. Oh, it didn't, huh? Man. Oh my god, I love this song, because there's a meme of it. <laughs> Gotta find that meme, actually. Too much crap in my timeline. Damn yeah, it, I can't find it. It's... Oh, I'm so sorry, CFD's done. You got the, <laughs> the awful Zelda and Mario cartoons, but not, like, the decent Pac-Man one. Oh, you like the Super Show? Fair enough. I thought it was okay. I think the three and world shows were probably better. of the wimpy kid hey say so this is diddy kong racing man it's david wise of course it's good man's a legend uh i saw the i think i saw the first diary of a wimpy kid movie i think so he looked on the brothers very first episode, they swear. You've got a piece of spaghetti sauce on your shirt. Fuck you, Luigi. Like, what else would he have said in that clip? Oh, did they? That that sounds great. <laughs>
Oh, not Sonic Underground. Maybe we could find out uh, what the hell Mario said in the pilot episode in the Brazilian tub. Or what he's supposed to say. The intro is still in English, but I'm talking about one of the first episodes, the English version at least, it sounds like Mario just says, fuck you, Luigi. So, I'm wondering in the Brazilian dub what he's supposed to say. Luigi can... Maybe. Honestly, I think Luigi's... I feel like Mario should be with Daisy and Luigi should be with Peach, but that's just me. It just... I, I think Mario and Daisy have better chemistry. I'm more in common. TF2? I've never played TF2. Um, like, pump up the jam? And what about move this? Do you know that one? Princess, then who's the king or queen? Well, then who's Bowser Jr.'s mom? Unless you believe my theory that he's a clone and not they, not 
or natural. Oh, the king of Hyrule showed up. But never the king of the mushroom. There have been kings in Mario games. All the kings were in uh, Mario Brothers 3 of different lands. The other countries, I guess. Danger, Danger Mouse? No, I never watched Danger Mouse. Thoughts on Nintendo World? Jealousy. That's what. Save it again. Ugh. At least Nintendo doesn't buy companies and just let them go bankrupt like Disney does. When Disney fails, they blame their workers. When Nintendo fails, they usually blame themselves, so I can respect that. I mean, that's been happening since the 80s. I don't know if you guys remember the movie Tron, but when that movie failed, Disney, and they just shut down the whole studio and a bunch of people lost their jobs.
kind of. Next. Mm -hmm. Flow? No, flat. Yeah, here we go. For Mario, good song. Slightly annoying. The zoo zooms are so annoying. Flash. Oh, yeah, I might get taken down for more. Well, I mean, I've never been taken down. It's just been like claimed. Still, just as bad. Um, You got fucking kid. How did that happen? Ah, damn you. It's aligned with this frame. Very annoying. Getting. Oh, look, chopping.
good to be. For the most part. <laughs> Toad screaming at Pete. This to me. Melissa, what are you saying? Able to read it. Fine. One of those things where you have to like Guy who played Steve Urkel. Yep. What about Pete? Let's come in here and talk about Pete. Somebody never asked me how Pete.
God, Doom, they're so... Pepperoni pizza is great. Classic. Now, for the ultimate and most important frame, Mario's big ass. Pepperoni is good in sandwiches. I prefer uh, salami so. or bologna. Shooter is baloney. The thing that disappointed me about Clock was the final levels, every stage was like a weird gimmick power up. And like, final stage is supposed to test what you've been doing throughout the whole game, you know what I mean? But the final boss in the game is this weird. You have to. You're on a spring. You're like on springs or something. A bit underwhelming, to be honest. Wario look like if he lost weight? Well, uh, have you ever seen him draw himself in Wario wear gold?
rotten day indeed. This song is clown as fuck. What age of people? Well, I've had some. Someone's like sixteen. Some people are star star jetty sixteen for star. People above thirty. Some people like my age. That's why I'm always worried about talking about like the ludes. Then. Variety of age is there, but definitely not the variety of gender. I guess I guess girls just don't like Wario. Never even hear this song in the levels because the levels are pretty short. Ah, humbug. It's just for me and my... This is a good song, but... Daisy? I mean, Wario has more interaction with Princess Daisy than most other characters. He's the reason she got kidnapped in the first place. I don't know why, but this song reminds me of the 90s. This song in particular makes me think of the 90s.
song especially sounds like uh, Tim Fallen. Oh, you know what soundtrack I'm going to listen to next? Zombies Ate My Neighbors. There's a game that needs a freaking remake. But Luca's arts is my issue craft. I don't have creativity anymore. So I'm never gonna get that. This song reminds me of the nineties too. This reminds me of, like, Don Bluth movie. I think it's in The Cursed Mummy. I know that, uh, that game. Only through production. Reloading my water, my energy tank. Oh, yeah. You know, I didn't see that documentary, Danny. Well, I don't know. But if all the crap, if all the stuff, bad stuff about him is true... Sphinx first fire. Sounds like Wario.
actually really cool. Zombies eat my viewers. And I'm going to let me. Back with me. Look up gameplay. They re released it. Recent on the Switch, what I recall. It's got a following. THQ are a pretty rad company, I hear. What do you mean by that? Like, what Mario and Zelda games? Oh, see, yeah. Yeah, the cutscenes are famously horrible. Actually, now that I think about it. Uh, 93, by the way, Des. If I'm gonna play a game with my girlfriend, I think we should play Zombies Ate My Neighbors together. Because I've never beaten it. 
I've only got as far as level 7. If I'm gonna do that on stream, that would be the perfect game to play. Fun X, it's all, it's all, it's, it's the 18th video is all. I used it for clickbait. <laughs> I wonder what Gavin's up to. Only Link, it is written. Only Link can defeat Ganon. Great! I'll get my stuff. There is no time. Your sword is enough. Wow. What are all those heads? These are the faces of evil. You must conquer evil. Here is the map. Map. He says map so weird. <laughs> Perfect. It's the 18th stream, Crying Mary. Oh boy, I can't wait to bomb some Dodongos. I'm so hungry, I can eat an Octorok. Boiled rope, bombs. You want it? It's yours, my friend, as long as you have enough rupees. Sorry, Link. I can't give credit. Come back when you're a little mm, richer. Uh, it's nothing. 
<laughs> this is pretty great. Yeah. Let's -a go. He's shaking, yeah. All right, I gotta mute the music uh, for a sec. It hurts. He's lighting, he's lighting it. Hey, that's it. See how this looks in video. Not, not in there yet. Just like that, uh, like the Smash Brothers Brawl, uh, intro. It's to be just a little smaller in these last two frames. I could better. Save it here. Thank you, Crying Mary. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on my line weight mainly. Oh, ah, jeez, my bones are all broken. Yeah, he's just gonna just <laughs> like he like look at him. They're like, uh, I love I love how Kamek looks back there. He's like concerned with the wand. Like, um, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the dirt boom and it's just it's just gonna launch him above they just don't know what's gonna happen um but it's gonna launch him above the wall and then we're gonna get a slow motion shot of him falling and we're gonna see castle from the outside Oh man, today I'll probably draw Bowser's castle. And I'm using the Mario RPG design. Realizes. Will it add a farting sound? Most likely. Farting plus explosion. Sounds are going to be the biggest pain, I swear. Like, that's, that's what's frustrating. Yep, I mean, I grew up with Dexter's Lab, Powerpuff Girls. Thick outline is where it's at, which is why I was pretty peeved when Adventure Time got popular and then everyone did thin outlines. Danny, there is only one Powerpuff Girls. Okay, there's there's only one. There's only one Powerpuff Girls series. Craig McCracken, that is the only one that exists. Only one. That's all that exists. Having like war flashbacks. Yeah, you know, what that's called specifically is line bleeding. I really do miss that. 
They basically draw a frame multiple times to make the lines look wavy. Peace out, Danny. Ed and Nettie had that so good. I really, I, I really uh, hate it when people complain about old Disney movies like uh, Robin Hood and Jungle Book and that don't like the pencil look. Because that's, I, I love that. I love the pencil scratchy look. Like, oh, it looks unclean. I'm like, that's the point. It's good. It's kind of this clean and pristine. We want things to be messy and natural. Holly. Yeah. I'll see if I can use this. Hot Dog Wario is a stream exclusive. The, the poot cloud. Yeah, it's gotta have an effect. Someone's gotta draw it. Ooh. Bruce the fine Wario, yeah. I'll even add an explosion, why not? Explosion. I don't have the explosion. I just do. Did I mess up? Okay. Effects 2. Does actually give you gas. Oh, crap. <laughs> I guess I can make the cloud green. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Literally exploding.
Uh, I guess just one. I think I just have to. Nutcracker. Huh. Doll within a doll within a doll within a doll. Okay, you know what? The fact that it, the problem is it's only one cloud. I need more than just one cloud. That's the problem. Nuclear, nuclear fart. Atomic fart, if to make it radial all over the place. I'll make three. I'll probably do three. Tablet? Uh, yes, this is a Wacom 6. Had to get one of them. Actually, uh, I started with a bamboo. Like ten years old. A friend of mine gave me his old gave me his old one. That one's free. And broccoli <laughs> coming out of his hand. How that looks in herb. See, see, funnily enough. Uh, I never got really used to Cintiqs, kind of awkward for me, but, and what I'm hearing is even professionals are kind of starting to miss the Cintiq, or kind of miss the tablet. Even better, that could have been my friend, like, fucking with me, when I wouldn't surprise if he was lying. I... Boom! Okay, that looks better. That looks hella better. Let's see it in the film. I've heard of Twinbee because it's on the Nintendo Classic. Perfect. This looks great. Bam! Look at that. <laughs> Beautiful. Frame by frame, it's perfect. The only thing I'm going to change is the color of his purple right here. It looks, it's, it's blending with the background. Right there, I'm going to change it. Dark purple I use for his lines.
this frame Oh God, my stomach should not have eaten that chicken and the broccoli. Basically going over the wall. Goes over the wall. Uh, atomic fart over the wall. Background. This is this is it. This is the this. I will say that the scene I'm coming up to is the best scene in the cartoon. It's the it's basically the climax, most important part. Die. Good. Guys, guys, my stomach. Oh. <laughs> Actually, awesome. I'm like, like I'm an artist or. Who draws it? Let's let the computer do it. I have no idea. I belong in the garbage. <laughs> video is gonna get this. What I swear, this is Wario video. It's gonna get like gonna get like ten, uh, twenty views. And someone's gonna watch, uh, some some clickbaity like, oh my god, what's your face got canceled? Three million views in like, in like, a minute. Can you believe this? I'm not bitter. I swear, <laughs> I'm not bitter at all. I'm in. Just in fact, as writers of South Park call it. It's like, come on, guys, my stuff is pretty cool, too. I, I make cartoons, too. Come on, guys. Blessed by the algorithm. Oh. Let's see. <laughs> That looks much like pink. That looks hella. Both Kamek and Bowser Jr. freaking out. 
over the fact that they've just witnessed a man fart himself to another uh, distance. Wait, no, that's Bowser Jr. That's Bowser Jr. Okay. Shut up. Wait. This one. Be lazy sometimes. Yeah, but he's not looking straight up. It's kind of awkward. Bowser Jr. needs therapy. He's also going to get big. He's going to get yelled at by his dad for letting his sacred treasure get stolen. You know, I just hope people get it. That's my big thing. Like, so far, nobody has guessed the reference. Even though I've had the song playing when I, you know, when I'm testing out, like, the timing. Because I figured, I figured, okay, not a lot of people are, relatively speaking, um, not a lot of people are watching the stream, so it's like, okay, I could, I could basically spoil what the cartoon is about, but I don't want to outwardly tell anyone. God, my stomach! Oh, I should not have eaten that rotten. I haven't said the movie. I haven't said the specific. Iconoclasts? Chemic sound of. I wonder if anyone's going to catch it when it comes out. I'm sure someone will. A couple people. Because uh, they caught butt face Brendan. Yeah, you could go frame by frame on YouTube. Hamburger, hamburger, hamburger. Wait, are your guys' H is silent? I, I, I just do that out of, out of habit, because that's in Spanish, H is a silent. So, I mean, it's hambur, hamburger, ham, hamburger, hamburger, hamburger. You like bacon? You know what I love on my hamburgers more than anything? Mushrooms. It's so frustrating because, like, most fast food places don't have mushrooms. Yeah. 
And a little bottom here. You don't like mushrooms. Oh, get these. So sorry. I love them. I love them because they are here, but still. Mushrooms and mushrooms, cogumelo. Fogu, yeah, I think mushrooms are definitely more of a thing. By that, I mean like the other side of the globe kind of thing. Mushrooms aren't very common in working. Oh, hell yeah. Do you think the game needs to be fun to be good? Yes. I, and now, here's the thing. The word fun is very... It's a very complicated word. Like, some people find roller coasters fun, right? But others find them scary. You know what I mean? Or a haunted house. Haunted house is fun, in a sense. But it's... But a good haunted house is scary. You know what I mean? So, fun doesn't always necessarily mean, like, having, like, playing and winning. Hell, technically, I'm having fun right now animating. Like, this is fun, but some people can't stand this. Uh-huh, I guess the mushrooms... I think mushrooms, uh, stay... the smell stays. There are different types of edible mushroom. Um, uh, but yeah, it's like that's why I, I, I'm okay. You know what? I, I can't even judge these games. Like I don't. I've never played Last of Us or uh, uh, Uncharted. But nothing about the game sounds fun to me. Like there are scene, there are parts in the game where you like have to sit around and wait for the person to walk with you. It's like an escort mission, but slow. 
So, like, in order for the game to move on, like, just the fucking filler. And it's like, that could be, you could tell a story with stuff happening. Peace out. Yeah, peace out, Cientista. Sadly, you won't eat mushrooms. <laughs> I'm sure there's parts in The Last of Us that are badass. Parts in, in Uncharted that are badass, and parts in The Last of Us that are really tense. Like, if it's if it's a zombie-based game, I'm assuming there's like, you know, rations and stuff, and like, you're, you've are you been low on, on ammo or whatnot, but you're like, have a horde of zombies, so you have to balance what you're doing. Like, I'm sure there's something like that in the game, but what everyone's talking about is the story, which I don't care about. I mean, I haven't really played narrative-based games. Can't judge. You want to know what narrative game I did play? A game that put the, the story ahead of the gameplay and became garbage because of it? Metroid Other End. Good God, that game was garbage. Even if, like, the entire cutscene were skipped, all of it, game was still garbage because it was trying to make a 3D action game with a freaking D-pad. And then you had first-person segments that, like, were broken. And, yeah, it was just, it was, it was bad. The Metroid series has still not recovered from it. Amherst Returns was close, but ain't it cheap. Terrifying death demon baby. Heaven and Christ, Celeste. Looks fun. My favorite gameplay mixed with story moments are from my favorite game of all time, Blaster Master. Because I'll explain. I, I guess I could tell this because I don't think I've ever explained why Blaster Master is my favorite game of all time. It's not well put together. It suffers from slowdown. It's hard as hell. It's an NES clunky game with limited continues. Its hitboxes are all over the place. It is um, compared to like games today and age, it is a mess. And a superior uh, remake has, has been made, like, a few years ago, Blaster Master Zero. If you're gonna play Blaster Master, just play that. But, uh, Blaster Master was the first game to make me realize, oh, crap, story, gameplay, at the same time. And it's crazy. The first time ever. And to this day, Probably the best. Let's do Turtles in Time. Wow. Ooh, that's really good. I, I only played the first one, and I really loved it. Because it's like, okay, this is... This is a good remake of Blaster Master. It has all the... It fixes all the problems that were in the first game. I... I it, I, it just... The charm was a little gone, because it just turned kind of generic anime. Which is weird, because it's called Blaster Master, not Metafight, and they actually reference the American one more than the Japanese one. Because, yeah, the American... Blaster Master was more, pop, is more popular in America. Um, yeah, I thought the game was great. It lost a bit of the charm in the arena. It, it, it just... The music and everything in the first game is just so good. Wondering if...
Oh man, I cannot wait for that new Turtles game! It's gonna be video games as hell! SNES, a hundred percent. SNES, the SNES version of the game is like better in like every way, man. Uh, the bosses are more unique. There's more of them. Uh, the gameplay feels it feels snappier. Something about the compressed sounds of the voice clips just works. Sometimes even high quality doesn't matter. Like... I love the crunch of SNES. Quality doesn't always matter. Like, high def doesn't always matter. Like, I, I, I looked at, I saw a video of people, like, trying to remake oh, Doom, yeah. Doom 2 with, like, 3D models and stuff, and everything's, like, HD textures. And the charm is completely gone. Like, I, I you know, appreciate the effort, you know. I, uh, it's pretty well done. But the sound is all off, and the animations are, are lifeless. Even with the extra gore, it's just like no. It's 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 not Doom Two. And I haven't even grown up with Doom. This isn't me just being a boomer and being like, oh man, my Doom. No, I, I got into Doom in 20, 2018. Oh. Save again. Out this. Sewer surfing. Sewer surfing. Sony bought Evo, that's kind of gross.
Let's kick shell. Um, not much. I mean, I animated Wario farting. If that means anything to you. The final stretch, basically. That stanky green.
No. Would be funny though. It's just Wario using it to escape. I think my favorite song is coming up. Ooh, the chips. <laughs> Not yet. Neon 
Oh, yeah, space seats. Damn, this sucks. Mostly quiet. Focus. You know what this reminds me of is uh in Ed and Eddie when they made the stink bomb. I think these are like the similar colors.
And funny, because this one's based on a vanilla ice song. Heck <laughs> no. Let's kick shell. Is the largest ozone hole. Oh yeah, just all that carbon dioxide. Hmm. Oh boy. Is that the big scenes, baby? Well, then again, I still have the earlier scene. Oh man, here we go. They're actually oh, there. I get like Africa. I am weapon. Smash it. <laughs> this scene. Quick shake of it. Yeah, the opening of Brawl. Classic. Take a bit. Everyone died, yeah. A little bit when Solid Snake questions it. But what? No, no. There's no. No way, that doesn't happen. Colonel, you're pulling my chain. 
I'm serious. Beware of Wario. I hear you play a lot of Metal Gear games, and there's this running joke. A snake telling Otacon, squeeze your arm. So, I just got one thing to say. Otacon, squeeze my hog. Metal Gear. Uh -oh. And keep talking to cheeks. Think, whatever you do, don't let them corner you. Metal Gear fans are, are a wild bunch, Snake. Say that again. Be careful. Solid, the solid snake being like pretending to be a snake. The Otacon at the old sky. What is it, snake? Turn myself into a snake. Oh, wow, snake. That's the funniest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> Turn myself into a, into a snake. Otacon. Snake, snake. Snake, snake. Turn myself into a snake. Snake, snake.
don't need to do any attempts at any impressions. Have the music off just so I can see. Hey, Mario! Did you want to go cut racing? I don't know, Luigi. I, I, got a, I got a bit of a headache today. Fine. I'll go cut racing by myself. Oh, yeah, it's Luigi Cut. <laughs> the best game, there's no Mario. It's me, Luigi. And the, the, the game... The game tanks. It, it sells horribly. Luigi Kart, it's like, it's literally just Mario Kart, but only Luigi as a playable character. Like, no, no one else is here. You don't need anyone else. You got me. You got Luigi. I'll be your best friend. Mario, Mario won't be your best friend. Why won't anyone buy any Luigi games? Luigi, you gotta, you gotta have a different angle. You can't, you can't just sell a Mario game and put Luigi's face on it. You gotta do your own thing. Like, like, like when you had the vacuum. But Mario, Luigi's Mansion didn't even sell that good. The third game did, Luigi. You were pretty great. You were great. Uh, thanks, Mario. Uh, that means a lot coming from you. Goodbye, Luigi Kart, or she's... It's it's just Mario Kart. It's just Mario Kart, but you can't play other characters. You just play Luigi. It sounds like a... It's not even new tracks. It's just the same old Mario Kart tracks. It's that Luigi's the only playable character. Uh... Gee, gee, Mario, that Wario guy is kind of weird. Yeah, I know, Luigi. Remember when we were kids, he was just kind of, kind of a mean kid. But now, he's all about stealing. He's all about farting. He keeps farting all the time, Luigi. It's not, it's not, not polite. Fucking stinks, Luigi. Literally. Literally, he stinks. Remember the last Smash Brothers? Like, oh, don't remind me. He took a bite out of me. It left the sky, Mario. That's nothing. He got one of them uh, Smash Balls. Smash Balls. Grabbed, and he grabbed the Smash Ball, and he turned, he ate this... Big, big ass clove of garlic, Luigi. And he turned into this this freak with 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 a cape. And he just started beating my ass, Luigi. He wouldn't stop. He just kept going and laughing with his wah ha ha voice. I'm running out of stuff to say, Luigi, because I'm not Vinny. I'm not clever. Only Mario. Terrible Mario impression lost some viewers, Luigi. Had to draw some some dirty pictures of the princess. No, don't do that. She wouldn't like it. No, no, no. She's into that sort of thing, Luigi. She's very open-minded about this sort of thing. You'd be surprised, Luigi. Prince 
living in, living in a castle your whole life makes you desire different things. But do you think that's the reason Bowser kidnaps her all the time? She, uh... That, that uh... It's actually more of a game to her. She's just bored. It's myself the same thing every day of my life, Louis. When am I gonna? When am I going to just be able to relax with the princess? Like, what if she ever thought about having kids? You ever talk about her dreams? Her, why did this get like deep all of a sudden? <laughs> Like Mario having an existential crisis about how Bowser just kidnaps Peach all the time, not because because Peach actually asks him to make life interesting because she's bored of the castle life. Mario just wants a simple life. Oh man, let's holes. Ringo from the Beatles. I, I can't tell. That. I, I don't know. If I'm imitating a Beatle, I won't know which Beatle I'm doing. I don't listen to enough of the Beatles. But comfortable. Let's give it another save and get me more drink of water. Bad boo. Thinking about Yakko from, I mean Wacko from Animaniacs, who's literally, his voice is just a combination of all four Beatles. Baboo. Are we being punished? Yes. Water. So Stone Luigi. Hey Mario! Check out my new girlfriend! Her name's Medusa! No, Luigi. Don't look into her eyes. Why? What you be? Uh oh! You're a stone, Luigi. <laughs> he just turns to stone because he looked at Medusa. Okay, now for one of the hardest things to answer. Slow motion. Stone Luigi, you did. What's with my W key? Keys are sticking in the bucket.
Mario. 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 Are you and you? What are you and the the princess gonna tie the knot already? BG, I, I don't know, BG. I tried asking her at the end of Mario Odyssey, but she turned me down. Right next to Big King Koopa. I don't think I can ever ask her again. Come on, Mario. I gotta pop the question at a more appropriate times. Mario, where are you? That's from the old commercial. How much is left? I'm at the I'm at the climax. Where where the sounds? So not much. I might finish this by the end of the week. Let's say end of the week, maybe. All goes well. It's it's sound <laughs> editing though. Like I am adding sound effects, so. That'll also help you out, uh, Zhu, because if people want to listen to the song without sound effects, they could go to your video when you, you upload the song. Going through a difficult phase. <laughs> Mario at the end of Mario Odyssey was sad because that rejected his proposal, but he didn't propose very uh, eloquently. Kind of just shoved it there. Bowser messed everything up. I kind of didn't. Hold on. He was going through a difficult phase. I kind of don't. Um, is it because he phases? Is it because... Uh, oh, is it because... Okay. Do they call his power-ups phases? Is that what you mean? I don't plan on streaming when I edit the I edit the sounds off. Hmm. I, okay. That's right. In the older games, they were called Fate. One of my one one animation I was gonna do a vine sauce, but I never got around to it, and I think someone else did already. Was uh, just Mario going, Luigi, go take a shit now. 
Luigi, go to the bathroom now. Now? Or are you gonna shit yourself? No, 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 one more level, one more level, Mario. Luigi, the shit's coming out your ass. And that, that was it, that was the bit. It was a reference to that one streaming kid that shot himself on that stream. Oh man, that video is so bad. Not yet, not yet. No, it's fine. Get me next time. Because I mean, it, it, the joke would it, it wouldn't make sense if, like, you said he was going through a difficult level. That'd be falling, falling off a cliff. Practically. Make sense of Portuguese. Fair enough. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No no. No no. Uh, let's see. King Hollow Knight, Ordinary Days, Mega Man, Donkey Kong. Ugh. Ordinary Days. Oh, jeez. Yes, uh. The Crucified Warrior. God damn it. Another crucified warrior. Poor warrior. Um, I'm going to Mega Man. This music. Well, let me play Mega Man uh, 10. I like the attend range soundtrack. We have Hot Dog Wario, Crucified Wario. Sitting on a fan. Crucified 2, the sequel.
Dude, if you hear a tree talking Viet Vietnamese, what would you do? Uh, uh, a talking tree. I would, uh, what would I do? Speaking Vietnamese. Is it angry at me? Is it angry Vietnamese or happy or is it like worried? Maybe like try and, uh, communicate. Like gestures. Not speak English. Well, that's true. I wouldn't talk to it in English. I was like, whoa, 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 okay. Uh. <laughs> As a Mexican, I, I, I don't really go for Taco Bell. Oh, okay. Vietnamese. Yeah, Careful with that one, though. I don't know if anyone would... Uh, I get the joke. I don't know if... Uh, I, I, out of the four people watching, I don't know if any of them are actually being the beast. But, uh... That rhyme won't go well with some. Uh, funny enough, that reminds me of the Monster Hunter movie that they made. Uh, recently got like real got people real mad because they made a joke they made like a, a joke about the word Chinese it wasn't a very good joke but it was just weird <laughs> Floppy. 
weird. It doesn't even feel like I've been streaming every day. I feel like I've missed a day or something. I've been streaming every day. I don't, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone's playing. I, I get it, though. Oh, out of the three people watching, anyone Vietnamese? That'd be cool. I have one from every continent, I think. And I know someone was from Europe. Some, I know someone's from Ireland. Showed up today, but someone's from Ireland. Got you from Brazil. Well, there are people from this one too. I'm American. consensus on Rick and Morty these days. Do people like it? Just hate the fan base or like cause I like the show. I thought the last season was the best one. But I don't know if anyone likes it. Yes, it is Pump Man's thing. Church. Can you see it? My blinds are always closed. You like Pump Man's Pretty good. I do like Pump Man's. Uh, this song made me make me have to go to the bath. The water sounds. That's true for anyone else. No, it's not. I hear like water sounds. Go to the bath.
Mando Man. Speaking of Vietnam, uh, did you know that Mega Man 5 was banned in that country because of Paintball Man? I've been seeing some memes of you going to Brazil and and I analyze something. This is one, this is very racist. Two, when a Brazilian says you are going to Brazil, anyone who is not from Brazil is take it to me. Oh wait, yeah, I've seen this meme uh around I think I've seen it like once. Once or twice. It's like you're going to Brazil. Like I, I've I've only seen it, but I don't get it. Like what 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 is the joke? famous actor to vote for when you go. That's a weird one. That's so, that's so obscure and it's like just, so one actor like votes on whether or not he's going to Brazil and then they won or something? Probably look it up after the stream.
for uh, CNP stuff. Did they get? Did uh? Um, did, did you guys get uh? The show Shaolin Showdown, a, a Brazilian dub, dub because there was a character from Brazil in that show. Just wondering if you know about it. Uh, he was the wind guy. I mean, if you guys got Chowder, you guys got Chowder. That was Cartoon Network. This is a show that was on HWB. Mega, no, not Mega Man show. Just a show, a cartoon. It's called Shaolin Showdown. It's, uh... Chow Chowder's great. I love Chowder. It just was... Sadly, during the time where Cartoon Network was being real dumb. Uh... Spelled X... X... I... O... L I N. Fun funnily enough, it kind of reminds me of Last Airbender now that I think about it, because it was about four younger kids, like doing martial arts to collect ancient tre magical treasures. The the main character was an Asian monk. He was bald. He got a big yellow head, big yellow round head. He had like he he had like. Uh, I think he had something on his forehead, I don't remember. Not an arrow, but he kind of reminds me of Aang now, I think. But his element was water, and then he had a guy from Texas, who was Earth. The, I forget where the girl is from, but she always had a different outfit. She was fire, and Brazil was wind. The villain was hilarious. Redhead kid. Who had the best voice. Shit, spice. Water! Fire! Yeah, I think his name was Bray Muto. Cast here in Brazil. Oh, it did, okay. I like it. It's funny because I think... Uh, out of all of the characters on the show, the one who had the thickest accent was the uh, Omi. Ain't the monk. And there's the joke where he, he like... <laughs> so, so the phrase goes... Um, the phrase is, uh, who, he who laughs last? Something like that? Or, oh no, the, the joke, the, the phrase is, I will have the last laugh. That is how you normally said it. And he said it like, he who has last laughing lasts least loudly. <laughs> like... Uh, uh, Raimundo just goes, what Omi did to that sentence is what we're gonna do to you. Because he always got the phrases wrong. He who laughs last, laughs most loudly. No. He who laughs last, laughs most loudly.
Now I'm thinking of Mucha Lucha, which was also on the same channel. The earliest show is animated in Flash. It definitely shows. Lucha! I wonder if there's people in that watch American shows and that fight over which version is better, the dub or the sub. Like, nah, you gotta watch, you gotta watch sub King of the Hill, you can't watch the dub. Spongebob, you know. You gotta watch original Spongebob. You can't watch Sponge, you can't watch a dub of Gotta watch the. Ah, you know, that was fine. I have to read when I'm watching a cartoon. Right. Ah. <laughs> SpongeBob and Goku are the same. Uh, the voice of Goku for us for a time was the same as Rolf from Ed and Eddie, which is really funny. You dare mock the sun of the shepherd? Ed the boys. Many dars, yes. Too much for couch potato Ed boys like yourself. How do you say that? Have, they have very hello it's
Mas Mario e Gustavo. El... Oh, uh, ¿Tanas? Allergic to what? Allergic to mountains. Luigi, I'm allergic to mountains. Can't stand them. Can't even look at them without getting queasy. Oh, that's too bad, Mario. The next world's the mountain world. Pull up. Use it. Honestly, if Mario did talk in like a movie or a new TV show, would he sound like the Brooklyn accent with the oh, Luigi? Hey, how's it going? Or would he talk like Charles Martinet that does the Wahoo, yeah! Hey there, Luigi! You're my brother! Oh, right, yeah! He says I'm allergic to mountains because he's like afraid of climbing, right? Mario, I am uh, allergic to mountains. Allergic to work, that's what you are allergic to. Get the jazz up here. No, really? And he just starts swelling. He just starts swelling up. Oh god, Luigi, you really are allergic to mountains. Oh god, I'm sorry. I'll get I'll get I'll get help. How are you? <laughs> like uh when wario gets stung by a bee he's allergic to bees so he gets all puffed up anyone in here have an allergy to something I have a slight allergy to a certain metal. It's uh, found in like... Uh, it, it was originally in my glasses. My nose got a little green. There was nickel in it. One more level, I swear. One more. Flames, hold for those. Fire. Favorite Mega Man songs. Ketchup, huh? Just ketchup or tomatoes?
confirm. I mean, I guess I'll leave it. Fuck it. Oh, the ketchup. Oh. But only ketchup, not tomatoes. Must be, must be some kind of acid that's in. Saving. Hey, Luan. Seen the pawn. Oh, no. It's like my favorite shirt.
happening. You seem as bored. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just like... Slow motion is really weird. Like, I'm like a little out of it right now. Next kind of more. Whew. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, you can eat ketchup, but you can't keep it in your mouth. So that means it's probably like the acid of the ketchup that's kind of burning a blister in your mouth. Which that, I don't know if that's an allergy or if it's just how, how like acidic the ketchup is. Oh, you mean, uh, so, here, so outside. Oh. That means a skin irritant. I mean, weird question, but have you, like, put ketchup on anywhere, like, your arm and see what it, what it does? Th thanks, Ultra Ghost X. By the way, I'm sorry, I've been out of it right now. Your face. So, I, well, I mean, naturally, face skin is like some of the most sensitive skin on the body. So. Could have also been like expired ketchup at the time. Like really old ketchup. Did you know that a car has already passed through my foot? Oh my. That's awful. Billy Sue him? Brought 
manually. Foot didn't break. Strong shoes, though. Must have had a. Did you have on uh, steel toed shoes or something? Still there. I, I feel like uh, I feel like I'm just worried about my girlfriend uh, having sleep problems for a while. Cheap shoot, cheap shoot, crazy. Um, I mean, was the car going really fast, or was it like did it like kind of go slow and you were able to pull your foot away in time? Day night, I had come home and went open the gate, but the sidewalk was smooth and I slipped and I was leaving the car. So it's your car. My parents were driving because I wasn't going to drive when I was... Oh, so this happened a while ago. So, okay. And they drove over your foot when you fell. But you were totally fine. So, if it was, like, still parked... So, I guess I guess it's because it was so... It, it wasn't moving at any, like, real speed when your foot.
That's, uh, you asked that before, Night Sky. That's still from Mega Man 10. Uh, against the pressure. Good song. It's probably my favorite from the album. All right, now to draw Bowser's Castle. It hurt, but your foot is, is like in condition nowadays. That's good. Did you see the the new Bill and Ted movie? That was all right. Kind of anticlimactic. Climatic? Anticlimactic. Whatever the word is, it. I knew someone on, on chat was like around a bit uh, younger. It, it was, it was okay. It was kind of maybe, maybe it's because I'm maybe I'm just not a movie person. Like I saw it and I was like, "Yep, that was a movie, all right," and then just didn't care. Video games, though. Video. Games. happens. I didn't have a bad time. Didn't have an amazing time. I just had a time. There are video games that are like that too, huh? They're just like, well, that was a video game, all right. What have I felt that way about? Actually, well, not really. I don't know. I've never had a... Yeah, I have. I guess it's because I'm more passionate about video games. Like, 
I can I can totally talk about what I liked and what I didn't like about it. But when it comes to movies, I was like, oh yeah, it was all right. It was a movie. Just don't care. Uh, actually, the youngest in chat here, yeah, the youngest I believe is 13. Yeah, that I've. Seen. I feel weird when I talk about adulter things. this song I, I We're just talking about, well, it's, no, it's just talking about a job, it's just like talking about life stuff. You should be enjoying your youth, like I did. Had a very, very unfortunate, very controlling home life. No, well, I'm actually genuinely curious. Did any of you, growing up, when you, when you have friends, right? Did your parents ever tell you that they're eventually gonna, you'll eventually, they'll eventually, they'll always eventually leave you? Is that something that most parents say, or is it just my parents being kind of fucking fucked up? Like, oh, you'll have friends, but they'll they'll leave you eventually. Like, as it's as if it's inevitable. That, is that common, or is that just fucked up? I think about that a lot. Holy oh, shit. Mainly Mexican. Okay, so it is so it's so it's a normal thing. It's just toxic not toxic masculinity, but toxic mexininity. Toxic mix. Tox mix.
hate that. I fucking hate that, man. That pisses me off. My quote-unquote family has done hella less shit for me than friends have. Like, and, and when I say family, I don't mean immediate. I mean, like, cousins. And shit. Not that I don't like my cousins or something, but they haven't done fucking jack and shit in my life. I don't ask them. I don't even expect them to. No, I don't expect them to. Speaking of Portuguese. Oh, uh, don't, don't worry about it. I mean, it's like, you yeah. know, have a lot of friends growing up. Well, I couldn't. Psycho. Psycho damn parents. Had a shit. Okay, you want to know how fucking psychotic my parents were? They would never let, they wouldn't let me have a sleepover uh, at my friend's house. I was fucking 22. 22. And they had a fucking shit fit. When I knew I had to get the fuck out of that damn house. It still pisses me. To this day. Fucking shit fit. Goddamn sleepover. Oh, don't believe in that bullshit, that family thing. Ah, it's a load of shit. Biggest bull I have ever been told. I live with my family, I live with my roommates and girlfriend. Yeah, that sucks. It sucks being excluded. It really does. It's your cousin's house? What the fuck? That's actually family. What is that bullshit? That's backward. Well, it's the same in Spanish too, Cien. Wait a minute, Cien. You said you're telling me you're 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 15, right? And you already know full English, uh, pretty decent English, Portuguese, and some Spanish enough to teach people. That's impressive. Be proud of that. That's 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 something. I mean, I'm 27. I still can't speak Spanish. I've been trying, or like here and there. Pat yourself on the back for that. And live four houses away? What? You could walk to the fucking house? Unless your neighborhood was literally having shots fired all the damn time? No fucking excuse. Which, I mean, we are from Chicago, so that might even be the case. Real Chicago.
But don't feel bad. I didn't. I didn't have a girlfriend until. Okay. Well, I had a distant girlfriend, so I barely even count it. You know, I had my first girlfriend. I I went to this art class. This art program, right? And I thought one girl was kind of cute, and I told and I basically told her she was cute on DeviantArt, and we called each other boyfriend girlfriend online. That's it. Nothing physical at all. Like, it don't matter. You... I didn't... No, I didn't think... No, we did kiss once. We kissed once. Oh, that's just a given. Most of the time... Most of the time... Music, music taste is just, like... So... I always hate the music. I'm not even a music buff, but normally when it was stuff that they listened to in high school, I mostly suck. Yeah, you don't have to fit in with anything. It's overrated. I think the best way to put it, the best way I've ever heard it put, is uh, from Dr. Seuss of all things. How he puts it is, those who mind don't matter, and those who matter don't mind. That's the that's the best way I've. Oh, um, okay, so, uh, I'm sorry. Those who matter, like, that are important to you, won't care about what, how you are. And those who do care about, th those who do judge you, they don't matter. I guess, I guess it's easier in English. Those who matter, I'll, I'll even type it up to make it easy. Those who matter. Um. Those who, I'll even type it up. Those who matter don't mind. Matter don't mind. Those who mind don't matter. Dude, it's almost six. That's just... Mega Man X again, just easy to remember. It just got a bit lost in translation, which I understand. Don't worry too much about it. I mean, that was the coolest part about college. Uh, uh, in 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 high school, like there was only like very few people that I met that I felt like fit in with. You know, like maybe three, and even then, they flat out kind of stopped talking to me, which is really weird. Which honestly, 
sucked a lot. But by the time I got into college, it's like everyone I in college was like interested in the same things I was. That was kind of cool. I draw something and you already did it. Ranger. class. Well, those two colleagues are one... Like, like, those two people are more important than the majority that don't, that don't care. That's the thing. That's what you have to realize. That's something I didn't learn soon enough. Those two people stick around with them. If they appreciate what you did and like what you did, talk with them. Because they'll, they probably understand more. But yeah, there you go. That's how it works. About me. Wait, Night Sky, we didn't, we didn't go to high school together. We're in, uh... We worked at the same job, but we didn't go to high school together. <laughs> cool, if you, wait, yeah, you were in my high school, though. My class, at least. Got a bunch of groups in my class. I wasn't really able to play the last year. Extra curriculars or whatever. Oh, no. I mean, I don't think anyone's going anywhere still. Vaccine ain't out for anyone. I don't have money to travel. I don't know. Also, it wouldn't look very good, CN. I don't know if you under, I don't know if you're following, but it wouldn't look good for me, an adult, to be going to another country to meet someone I met online who's 15. That would not look good. I hope you understand. That, that would that would look very bad. <laughs> No, I know. I know it was a joke from the meme, but it's like, even if even if you're legit asking, uh, yeah, no. I really want to go to Mexico. I don't even think I have any family left in Mexico. I think they all uh, moved to America by now. Maybe, maybe I have distant relatives in Mexico.
Um, according to my mom, uh, uh, Guadalajara, I think that where my either Guadalajara or Jalisco, one of those two. Yeah, uh, just say like honestly, um, Tientista, the 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 whole thing. Like I don't, re I barely remember the names of the people I didn't like in high school. Yeah, I don't even remember their names. I think I might remember one. Just because it's easy to remember, but I, I even I, I I even forget some of the people I was like friends with in high school. So, oh, it's like, cover yourself. Oh, I see. Um. So, the most worrying thing about meeting people, like, meet them, you become friends with them. And then you find out they're not as good as you think. That's always scary. Actually, that brings me to a story. Um, okay, so. Uh, I, in college, I worked in... Okay, I worked I worked somewhere in college. Uh, basically in my college. I worked at a little, like, in the equipment center. Basically, I was the guy. If, hey, I need to use a tablet today, or I need to use a computer today, I would be the one to unlock the door and let them in, right? Um, I remember the people I hate very well. Oh, don't worry, you'll forget about them. You'll forget about them. Enough time passes, and then you'll barely remember their name. You'll meet better people. Um, but I met, I met this guy that I was basically a coworker, and like I was being like friends with him, right? And we were like uh, cool together. And then I found out his, I met his ex-roommates, and they told me that he's, like, a terrible person, basically. Like, really bad. And I was like, shoot, I just became friends with this person, what do I do? And it was very awkward from that. I don't even want to say the person's name, because I'm the person watching the, the street. And then it'll, and a bunch of crap will happen. Oh, that sucks. Hey man, someone made me cry in anger uh, back in high school. Oh, I do remember his name, but I, I barely remember what for. Yeah, you just you eventually just like, man, look at that guy. A dick. Brazilian equivalents of insults. I don't know. Uh, Dave here. Oh. Mm. Okay. Uh, I don't even remember people in high school. I live in my street and look cool at first, but then I'm another person who cared about himself. No, that happens. People do change. That's pretty rough. There was, uh, I mean, heck, and I mean, if you're gonna, you'll eventually, like, meet someone, girlfriend or boyfriend, whatever you're into, and then you're gonna think they're the, they're the best thing, and you're probably, imagine, you'll, like, imagine your wedding years later, but then you end up breaking up, and then 
you realize, oh, you were dumb for thinking so. Like, stuff like that happens. I mean, no one's rushing you. You shouldn't rush. If anything... Oh, he tried to steal shit from you? What a dick. Thankfully, he only tried and failed. What a dick. And honestly, you could use... You could use stories about this asshole that you're telling me about as, like, ways to get other friends. Girlfriend, not boyfriend. Okay, girlfriend then. You get a girlfriend eventually, and imagine getting married, and then you'll think it's the best ever. And if you're lucky, it will be, like, your first time. It's not very common. I don't think I've met anyone whose first girlfriend was their, like, person they spend the rest of their life with. Um possible it's highly unlikely and then you'll meet her and and you'll think she's amazing but then you'll but then stuff will happen that's the thing stuff just happens life life kind of sucks but you only get one hello looking tower. I like how this came out. But like let's say let's say uh one of the fun one of the funniest things is sometimes you make friends out of out of hate. Like, what if, what if you'll meet someone in the future that knows that guy you're talking about that tried to steal your bike? And what if he's trying to steal someone else's bike, and you meet him, and you go like, Oh yeah, that guy was a dick! And you just keep talking about it. Yeah, what a dick! He's like, what kind of video games you play? And then they go like, Wario Land. Hey, at least you're- hell, you're trying more than I did. You ever come across as too desperate? You don't want a girlfriend just to get a girlfriend. You want to get a girlfriend to, like, like. Like, that was my problem. In high school, and especially college, I was, like, the worst simp you can imagine. Um, I was, like, simping hard for, like... Like, everything. It was, I was pretty bad. Well, yeah, but you won't find you won't find that until you love and appreciate yourself. I mean, I sure didn't. What else? This color. Coloring. Okay, have it in there. Ah, oh, I'm missing the color. Hold on. Damn, I got one. Yeah, that's the color. Hot dog Wario to life problems? I mean, that's usually how it goes. <laughs> Ooh, 
Boomer Kawanger. This song is great. This one's great. I love this song. Always starts with hot dog. Important Oreo there is. Oh, 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 the castle. This is my castle. I am the king. King Bows. Oh. Bows. California. Good old California. I say that with the maximum amount of sarcasm. Overpriced and horrible food. Whether I'm just kind of meh about. But according to people, it's where I was going to get a job in animation. So that's getting me. Uh, just... Like, fine. Oh, big D. Do you have a certain style for shading and an okay well the thing is with animating I can't really go nuts with shading. I I kind of base my shading on sprites. So I limit I try to limit myself with only 3 colors per object, 3 colors and maybe black and white. That's how, you know, that's how sprites work. Um and Really, and, and you know, it just sometimes really comes out good. I really specifically pick my color. Like even here, like the castle. This is the line color, this black. This light, I only use very sparingly. Gray and the dark gray are the main ones. Shadow, this is main. This is the one. I want to make a ball. Well, shade fully for that. The high. Oh, Disney one day? I've, I've actually never been to Disney. I've never been to Disneyland. I've never really cared. Now, Nintendo Land, when that comes to California, that's I'm going day one. Um, Friday Night Funkin'? I have. Some people have even joked that maybe I should make a mod for it. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we have Disney here. I just, I never even went. I, I'm not much interested. Disneyland? Where's my Nintendo? That would be beautiful. That's true magic, baby. One of these days, they're going to have Wario in a costume. And he gets to take a picture with it. And he's going to pretend to be stealing your wallet. And it'll be the best thing ever. you are like, oh my god, it's Wario! I went to Universal. But that's because I used to kind of work there. Wrong one.
He steals your real wallet. Yeah, that would suck. If that's part of it. But then again, it's not like there'd be much money in there considering I'd spend so much money on Nintendo things. You're like, oh my god, a Yoshi plushie? <gasps> a Donkey Kong little mini cart? A Mario keychain? A Bowser... <laughs> Bowser stuff? Give me it all. Give me all of it. Yeah, I spent I spent all the money. It's all gone. Steals your kidney. Oh yes, a good kidney. I need it for my collection of kidneys. Ah ah ah. New York. Oh yeah. Mario gets new kidney. Oh my stomach. Oh good thing I got this new kidney. Oh, he just eats it. Yeah, someone suggested the thing is I don't have human characters. Or like, like characters that really talk. So like, how are they gonna sing? Like, I I need an OC that people would like. Have an OC. Now people care. Um, the gecko and he's very tiny. Like he's more of a dummy. Like I use him for like animation practice. Give me your kidney. Yeah. <laughs> Delicious kidney. Kidney. I'm just having Wario say the word kidney is kidney. Give me your kidney. <laughs> Mr. Moisty. That's a very funny name. Tracks children and steals kidneys. Yes, kidneys. They have the most nutrition problem. It reminds me of what I made Waluigi steal, but I shouldn't say it. <laughs> My girlfriend, no. Kidneys, kidneys, delicious kidneys. Oh, my stomach. Kidneys. 
So hot dog Wario just turns into a hot dog to lure his his victims into thinking, oh look, a hot dog. And he's like, wrong. <laughs> Why kidneys? <laughs> Are they the most valuable? Is it because there's two of them? My usual say about kidneys is like, I would be like, oh, I donate, I, I'd give away my kidney for a banjo kazooie remake. He's worth an Xbox or a PS5. I'll give you a kidney if you. I'll give y'all a kidney if you if you if get get a banjo kazooie. This is looking nice. I like this fort look. Yeah. It's a fort at night. You know, kidney, well, kidneys are valuable. I'm assuming all organs are pretty valuable. Yeah, I'd sell my heart. I have one. Oh, half an Here's my 18 plus content. Um, boob. There. I said the B word. Oh yeah, Matt, you did miss it. You missed it, Matt. Gratuitous. Gratuitous.
sure. I mean, I guess you can call it that. Bowser's, Bowser's Castle. Why do we take everybody's kidney? So you missed the joke that uh, when Nintendo Land opens, there's going to be a guy in a Wario suit uh, stealing people's kidneys. <laughs> well, well, you missed it too, I guess. You guys will visit Cali once Nintendo Land becomes a thing. Make sure you bring your own food, because you're stuck. That's Bowser's Castle. For sure. Big bad Bowser. Even hear the music from Mario World and at this. <laughs> Actual pizza, yes, please. Bring some tortillas. That's what I miss. Good, good ports. Uh, 
Chicago's in the Midwest, and they have, like, the best corn, obviously. here the corn tortillas here suck uh night sky if you're still there uh aren't milagro like the best tortilla chips ever Oh no, no, they don't, they don't, they have, it's not even close, it's so inferior. Milagro tortillas are just the best torts. They, the torts suck, that's the worst part! Like you'd think, like California, oh yeah, it's super, it's super Mexican, they would definitely have good torts. No, they don't. They actually don't, they're inferior. <laughs> and it's like, how? Sure, the flower ones are fine, but like, or like mice. I'm just astonished by the fact that California, I mean, no, there's taco trucks, and I'm not saying the meat is bad, like, the taco meat, I mean, it's fine, you know, nothing spectacular, but the torts, wait, what do I have to see on Twitter, why, what happened, oh, did you send me something? I'm on Twitter, it's just, uh, it's open in the other window. You're making me not want to go there? I mean, I, I didn't come here for the food, I came here for the potential job, again. Right. Now my girlfriend wants to stay. Honestly, I feel like if I, if I find love here, I might be back in Chicago by now. Just, well, at least just during, you know, the, the dark times of 2020, I might have gone back just to lay low and live cheap. Very beautiful. Is it Wario with a kidney? Yeah, man. Wario desiring a kidney. Now I'm gonna, like, draw it or something. Beautiful! Bowser's Castle! Fortress of Death!
where everything is completely intimate. Alright, peace out, Sian. In five years, right? No. I'm giving up, if that's what you're... I feel like the year 2020 was just kind of a... I feel like we shouldn't even count it. But... Just card four. Oh man. Colonel Sanders didn't find his recipe until he was like, what, 40s? In his 40s? I'm no quitter. I think I'm just gonna quit. Yeah, I, I, yeah, true. I mean, I did animate and stuff in, in 2020. I was doing commission stuff, so, like, you can't really get against the contract, you know?
Oh, he does. Back in college, I was a big fish in a small pond, as I normally was. But I think that in high school, I was like that in grade school, even. I mean, I was probably the best artist in my grade school class. And a pretty good, decent artist in my high school class. And okay in college. Just in California, there's a hell of a lot of competition. I'm burning up here. Okay, I'm mean, mostly working on a background deep. That's not. No, just... so you know how uh, we, we, we heard this inside joke that uh, Mario <laughs> steals kidneys. Wait, really? Related to um, but the unicorn. Probably the unicorn. Yeah, you don't remember how they took my freaking. Never saw that? I think I've seen it. I, it sounds familiar, but I don't remember. You remember the ending? But no, we're, we're, ima we're imagining like Wario, like at at Nintendo Land, the, the guy in the Wario suit, he's like, come here and shoot. Ugh. Give me or keep. I guess it's better than uh, the animation is going very that. good, by the way, Des. I, but I've been mostly working on this background element. Animation. Yeah. I want to get this uh, castle. Oof. Oh no! You're watching Oof. Well, it, it's right. Ah. My life, I can't. Not butter. Uh. <laughs> Oreo steals kidneys. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, Tiantista here earlier. I, I, he, he he's gone now, but like started this. I, I I started the joke is like when Nintendo Land gets here, I'm gonna be so excited because eventually we're gonna get a guy in a Wario suit, right? And then so so I imagine yeah he'll he'll like steal he'll he'll like pose like he's stealing my wallet. It'll be great. And then he goes well he'll pose like he and then he actually steals your wallet. It's like well yes that. Yeah. And then he just thought of the idea of, wait, what if he steals your... And then he also steals your kidneys. Throws a bucket of shit on Mario. Heals his kid. Yes. Look at that 3D. I I need to pose with Wario if that's a thing. If he ever shows up in Nintendo Land, need. I need to. I, I just need it. I need it to live. Look at that cool 3D, huh? 
Ooh. All right. This came out real good. Just need to make sure that Yeah, that's when Waluigi brushes to Yeah, that's when Waluigi's movie. And those terrible. Not yet, no, they don't know yet. Not a lot of people have seen that, that movie. Makes sense. And that castle's get out. Boom! Yeah, she draws too. Look at that beautiful art frame. I thought it would be more like a uh, mushroom. Like, straight. Only had one girl. They're like, they're like, Nick, how do they do that? Slow motion falling. And then uh, while we just gonna it, come. Why does it vibrate when well, you that's just because, Well, no, it's not supposed to. It's just, I, I just needed both frames. Because that castle came out very nice, but I need the castle at an angle, but I didn't want to get rid of the center castle. Okay. Yes, lock your door, close your window, chain the house. Don't let Wario in. He will steal your kidney. And with that, I'm starting to get a little bit of a headache, so I'm going to end the stream there. I need to eat. I'm getting one of those hunger headaches. I gotta eat something. Hopefully everybody had a good time watching me draw Wario's massive ass right in front of the camera and farting oh man yeah eat some oh yeah i'm getting a headache Whew. um yeah make sure uh wario's a great character just don't let him steal your kidneys he'll probably sell them actually uh Freeze the frame. I hear the noise, but nothing. Oh, weird. It's just saving right now. But yeah, I'm just going to end the stream with that. Uh, I just got to eat something. I'll probably add more sounds tonight. I, I do have to work on my commission. Uh, my, I guess. Sent me a new request. So, you know, as always, have a good night or day or whatever it is around your time zone. I, I stream every day until this damn thing is done. It is almost done. So, um, peace out and good night. Thanks for joining.